Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Lawrence. I'm the general manager for technology enablement here at Supermicro. Uh, today, we're going to have a conversation about some of our AI training machines. Joining me, I have Carlos Weisenberg, senior product manager in the GPU server group, as well as Eddie McMurrow, also a senior product manager in our GPU server group. Let's start with some a product that's on the market, Carlos, our 10U. Um, your baby, can you kind of walk us through it and talk about some features and benefits? All right, I'd be happy to. So this is our 10U GPU system that supports 16 GPUs. It has two HDX2 boards. Each board has eight V100 SXM3 GPUs. With the two boards, we have a total of 16 GPUs in there. The GPUs are interconnected using NVLink and NVSwitch technologies. So using these technologies, we're able to enable a non-blocking switch fabric. All right, great. So Carlos, staying inside the box, let's talk about the Intel CPU and how the GPUs are all put together. So this system supports dual second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors with up to 56 cores. It supports 24 DDR4 DIMMs that can run at up to 2933 megahertz bandwidth. All right, so great. So one of the key features of this uh, product is the one-to-one -one ratio of NIC card to GPUs. Can you elaborate please on why that's so important? Okay, so this system has 16 network interface cards or NICs and they're connected to the GPUs using a PCIe switch fabric. So using Mellanox InfiniBand cards, the GPUs can communicate with GPUs on other systems using GPU Direct RDMA. And since there are 16 GPUs and 16 NIC cards, this means that there's a one-to-one -one ratio of GPU to NIC cards. And this allows for a powerful cluster of GPU servers. Okay, great. So uh, before we let Eddie get into the game, talk to me about applications. So what we found is that the AI deep learning models continue to increase in size and complexity. And so our customers are looking for more and more power and performance in their systems. So our customers are, that's why we developed the 10U and it supports applications like natural speech recognition, medical diagnostic tools, or autonomous driving. All right, great. All right, so Eddie, uh, you don't have any devices on the table. Uh, yours is still in very much uh, coming soon mode. That's right, yeah. All right, but yeah. we'll take us through the two of you. Talk about what's unique about it and some of the designs uh, in terms of features and benefits so that we can get an understanding of the box. Yeah, sure, Jay. So uh, in general, our uh, GPU systems are purpose-built enterprise servers that are optimized for GPU rack density and GPU connectivity, and also the challenging power and thermal demands of, the s of these systems. In fact, uh, our primary benefit uh, for the system is the thermal so solution itself. Uh, we, we were able to fit all the components, they get very hot, and we were still able to make them air-cooled uh, using the system fans, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 2U4 GPU system features next-generation NVIDIA A100 GPUs, and these are down on board XS SXM4 modules, and, and that's as, as opposed to PC, a common PCI card, uh, um, PCI form factor GPU cards. Um, what this really means is that the design is highly robust and it gives you NVIDIA's next generation NVLink technology. <coughs> NVLink technology pr provides a performance increase 10 times faster than PCIe, and uh, that way outpaces um, standard PCI um, card-based GPUs. Um, in addition, the GPUs are arranged in a full mesh uh, configuration. All the GPUs get to uh, talk to, to each other directly, and um, this helps to reduce the performance bottlenecks. Okay, great. Now, in your 2U platform, you're using the AMD CPU versus right. the Intel. Mm -hmm. Talk about why and the, some of the features that that gives you. Yeah, so the, we use the dual AMD um, uh, Epic uh, X86 CPUs. We chose these AMD processors since each CPU supports up to 128 uh, lanes of PCIe Gen 4. Um, they've got 64 cores and they've got eight channels of um, uh, memory. But this helps to keep the system cost down. Uh, we were able to squeeze in 32 uh, DIMMs for memory support, in fact. Um, our design has been upgraded to faster PCI Gen 4 um, to all our supported components, such as uh, add-on cards. 
Uh, we made sure to uh, have plenty of expansion slots in, in this system that we're developing um, for high-speed networking such as Mellanox InfiniBand, HGR200 SmartNICs. Uh, we use, uh, we even have a one-to-one -one mapping, kind of like uh, Carlos was mentioning on, on the Tenu. We have a one-to-one -one mapping between the GPUs, um, the, uh, AO, the add-on cards and the GPUs that they serve. Okay, great. Yeah. So uh, just in, in kind of closing, talk about some of the applications you're targeting with this. Yeah, so this product in particular is suited to high-performance computing and AI workloads. Uh, it will help drive breakthroughs in speech recognition, computer vision, and data science. Um, these target markets require massively parallel computations, and our 2U4 GPU system is perfect since it optimizes for high bandwidth connections between those GPUs. All right, great. So, Carlos, back to you. Um, you've got your 4U that's also in the coming soon category out. Can you give us a high-level overview, talk about some features and benefits? All right, I'd be happy to. So we recently announced this platform. This is our 4U, new 4U system. It also supports a one-to-one -one ratio of GPUs to network interface cards. It has eight GPUs, eight network interface car, uh, cards connected with using a PCIe switch fabric. So it also supports GPU direct RDMA with Mellanox and Finiband cards. And the GPUs that are used on this are the A100 Tensor Core GPUs. Okay, great. So in closing, uh, if you look at what we've shown you here today is a pretty wide uh, array of options for GPU servers. All very powerful machines, all very creatively put together for thermal and cooling. Uh, energy consumption, reuse, and protecting our environment, which is very important to us here at Supermicro. If you'd like to learn more, please check it out on the web. You can see us at www.supermicro.com. Thank you.